Well, active shooter drills are common in schools now, but two national teachers unions say instead of preparing students, the surprise drills are creating a traumatic experience. Tiffany Huertas takes a look at how drills are impacting teachers and students here in San Antonio. need to stay as quietly as possible. Uh, it's almost like a game of hide and seek and we're gonna wait until our visitor comes into our classroom and uh, they open the door for us. And it's a drill that's intended to keep us safe. Imagine three-year-olds in pre-K in this situation. That's the drill David Garza has to go through with his class at Head Start at Dezavala Elementary School. The day of the drill, I'll go through a little reminder with my students and I'll let them know this is something that's going to be coming up. San Antonio ISD says they conduct lockdown drills. Lockdown drills are different from active shooter drills, according to every town for gun safety. Students and staff remain confined to an area in lockdown drills, unlike active shooter drills, which are tailored to specifically address active shootings. But not every school district around the country gives advance notice and some worry about the impact that could have on the mental health of students and educators alike. That's why the American Federation of Teachers, the National Education Association, and Every Town for Gun Safety teamed up and made recommendations on active shooter drills and proactive school safety solutions. In their report, they mentioned ways experts have found that can help protect students' well-being. For example, drills should not include simulations that mimic an actual incident. Parents, teachers, and students should have advance notice of drills, and schools should create age and developmentally appropriate drill content with the help of school personnel. Here at home, president of the San Antonio Alliance of Teachers and Support Personnel, the union that represents SAISD teachers and employees, says they are talking to teachers at the district about lockdown drills and collecting information. Potter says they are also working with the district on other improvements. One of the major things we've been focusing on as a union this year with, our, with the district is the need for all of our classroom doors and all of the office doors in our, our school buildings and offices in the district, that, that those be able to be locked. Potter says drills can be traumatizing for students, especially the young ones. When we're talking about our younger kids, when we're talking about three-year-olds, four-year-olds, five-year-olds. When I was coming to school myself, I also didn't have to go through these kinds of drills, and it's just, it's just a reminder of the things that we have going on in our society right now. I wish there was more that could be done on the state level, uh, legislatively, but until then, these are the things that we're having to do to keep our students safe. Every school district defines drills differently. At Northside ISD, they conduct two active shooter drills a year. They do not use shooting sounds, fake ammunition, and banging on the doors. Instead, they secure the rooms and hide in place. Patty?